Yeah. We live, folks? Yes. yes. Oh, it's we not don't a... have We don't have chat rooms. Oh, I made jokes yeah, yeah. as soon as I, I saw this photo. Yeah, it's not okay to make fun of big techs, okay? It's never okay. Someone posted, like, big techs on fire and I can't cry. Don't worry, he'll be back. Like, Oh, if only I could taste it. Huh? <laughs> Te- Big Tex will be back? See, GK doesn't understand the... Big Tex will uh, be back better than ever. Big Tex, I mean, GK oh, I doesn't understand Big Tex. It's a metal thing with paper mache on it. <sighs> Dude. That's all it is. Get with the program. You just can't, you just don't understand. I mean, really. Hi, everybody. If y'all are there, I, we can't We're waiting see on your chat rooms to come because up. Because... Our incompetent staff. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Oh! Wow! Wow! <laughs> just kidding. Uh, wow! The guys have what not yet managed. <laughs> <laughs> the guys have what not managed to do? get the chat room up yet. Yeehaw. Thank you, Ben. Hi, everyone. And I think uh, people people want a uh, a Google. Chat, hangout. Yeah, are you gonna do that? Thingy. I'm trying to get it going. Just, just hold your horses. Hey, Ray DVD, Strins, Strang, Strinslaw. I hope I'm saying that right. Two Maker, Mr. Jigs, Maxes. How are you seeing everybody? I went onto my computer. Oh, okay. I went the old-fashioned route. No gummy bears? John hasn't had gummy bears. In, although we do have gummy bears in the office. I just haven't pulled any out in like, I don't know, two, three months? It's been a while. Yeah, where the heck are my gummies? Yeah, you have a whole thing of them in there. I was going to wear my glasses today. I forgot. My eyes are bothering me. Where are your glasses? You get that whole school teacher look when you have your glasses on. <laughs> my glasses are actually on my desk because my eyes are, my contacts are itching because I only had three hours of sleep last night. You want to so. go take them out and put on your glasses? Um, yeah, unless you want me to cry during the show. Uh, I don't want you to cry, but mainly I'll just be right because back, guys. everybody's going to, oh, don't, s- not don't knock over the thing. I take, didn't. Look. Jeez, I was far. If she's got to go take her here, contacts out. But if I give you a ruler, will you spank my hand when you put that Oh, jeez. Right. That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm going to mute hey myself. Hey, guys. I guess it's just you and me. If I had a chat room, I could uh, I could talk to you. So I'll turn Callie's computer over here. Let's see. Hey, Tube Maker. Hey, JP Fuhrer. 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 Greetings from Chile. Chile, how are you? Um, so, uh, hi Lisa, she's crying and sneezing. Oh, the chat room's actually coming up where I can see it. Um, here's the deal, Callie's not here. What do you want to know about Callie? I'll tell you anything you want to know about Callie. Just ask me right now while she's gone. But you better be quick about it. <laughs> So is the Windows 8 experiment all over now? No, it is not over. In fact, the problem is we loved Windows 8 so much that V stole what are you the talking laptop about? from me. She oh, the took Windows it. 8? What are you doing with my computer? I, turned oh, you're reading. I was reading the chats. <laughs> nice. Spill all, all right. the beans. We, we need bigger what? chat. <laughs> Tube maker, she is a combination of AC and DC. And yes, Photo Steve, she is a robot. I would know. <gasps> oh, I, I have her. something I want to talk. I built her. Excuse me? You really going to go there? She was Model 1 Fembot. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. She, you know how she defends us? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I've gotten so many little bit kits. I'm loving them. So many little what? Babies? Little what are you about bits. to say? So many little babies? <laughs> no. So many little baby robots? Hey guys, how are you? Thank you for excusing me while I took my contacts out. Dave, can, Herwig, can you see my computer screen? It should be one of your inputs. Lisa Marie, absolutely. I always love hearing about new good books. I just finished uh, Gary Shapiro's book. 
Yeah. Earlier. Actually, really good information for uh, small Medium business size. owners. Yeah. How? Middle, middle one. Middle one. Oh, God. There they are. There you go. That's where we found Callie. This was, Callie, was the, Callie was the prototype for these guys right here. Well, at least you fixed My all the... My favorite part coming up. At least you fixed right all here. the problems that I, that I had. Yeah. I mean, they look... Here you go. Watch this. This is the best part. Better done. This is the best part right here. Look, he, doctor. Oh, oh, ow. See, those things are so functional. I mean, they're, fun, <laughs> they're fun for the whole family. They are fun for the whole family. When is the book coming out, Ben? It is coming out January 8th, 6th. Yeah, right before CES, I believe. Six or the eighth. I don't remember. It says it on Amazon. Okay, I'm turning that off now. And he wants you to leave the screen so that he don't, you don't see what's on his screen, apparently. No, I don't care. Oh, can I send you a link? You got to, um... You I guess I have to open Skype in the background. Need... Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? Oh. So here's a question for you guys. What do you do? I've got this stupid iPad here. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. What do you do whenever in an app you it, an app says it has an update? You tell it to update, and then for some reason it begins to install and then just can't finish. And it always says installing and you can't launch the app anymore and it won't finish updating the app i mean the only yeah, thing you can you're do the is only delete the app and i know that this has happened to on a consistent basis it happens every it happens every constantly. time what, are, what are it's you just doing? ridiculous so you can't delete the app you can delete the app but you have to delete the app and re-download the app when all you were trying to do update was it. upgrade it See, Data Lore says that happened with an Autodesk uh, app. Really? It happens all the time. <laughs> Bad workman blames his tools. <laughs> uh, why don't you try updating on the computer? Ben says Delete it happens to him. Delete the app and then go into the app store on there. And Did you hear me? I said, how do you do it without deleting the app? I don't know. How do you do it on a computer when a computer crashes? The computer, do a computer doesn't do that. Computers don't begin downloading and installing and then just I think just you need don't. to try updating on the computer. Well, then why does this say that it will update? <laughs> well, it should. It I should don't not know. give me I the ability to I don't know why you're having so many let's problems. Use, let's, let's, let's use the power of our, of our broadcast pulpit. And what app is it? Oh. He says it's a lot. It's like oh, every it app happens he tries. Right now it's happening on Camera Awesome, but it happens all the time. Just all the time. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like that one needs to be uh, redone. It sounds like you got a root level issue. Uh, it never happens on Google Play. Just saying. Uh, you know how to solve. Ray, this I think you're right. It's the flux capacitor. <laughs> solve this problem by just giving me the keyboard. Right. Uh, it's not the keyboard that <laughs> yeah. is the issue. But he's even. sure it'll solve uh, yeah. that problem. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, right. He's sure it'll solve that problem. <laughs> Guaranteed. See, JJ Butler said it just happened with the Weather Channel yesterday. Huh. I'm telling you. Don't use the weather channel. That's funny. Eric Stratford wanted to know what book. Anthony Wells oh. says, hey, you guys. Well, hey, you, Anthony Wells. How are you? Eric, the book I was talking about is called Ninja Innovation from Gary Shapiro. The CEO of the CEA who puts on CES. <laughs> See, it's just fun to say, isn't it? It is fun to say. <laughs> Miho. Yeah, the is weather that how you is say it? Never Miho right. or Meho. Hey John, greetings from Bitnet Studios in Ireland. Hey. Awesome. Welcome. Gosh, I wonder Back. Ireland. I, you were here a while ago. It's been a while since we saw you around, I think. Cable TV says love when is these the show glasses. Starting? Oh. Callie. Thanks, Cable TV. My contacts were itching me. I mean, you guys are. Oh, cool. Okay. Toonmaker wants to know if he drives an AMG. Um, that would be awesome if Gary Shapiro. Jo the CEO AMG. of the CEA that Drove runs that runs CES <laughs> drives an AMG. That would be funny. That would be awesome. Ray DVD. Uh, I was already. No, I'm not on the Howard Stern show. I he's talking about a tweet I sent out earlier. 
I go regularly on Geek Time, which is on the Howard channel, Sirius 101, and I do uh, tech segments on that show. So Ralph Cirilla, uh, Jason, all those guys are awesome. Cable TV exec is actually Steph. Oh, hey. He says Steph. He has the... He has to uh, abbreviate. Okay, are we ready? An ad just interrupted the show. Oh, that's not good. On Justin TV? Huh. That's new. Could you, Harump says, could you imagine Stern interviewing Callie? <laughs> no, that's why we've never allowed her yeah. to go and do an interview with Stern. He knows, apparently he knows who I am, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been in his studio though. No, I think while actually, he was in while he was interviewing a porn star. Yeah, I think he would be respectful. I mean, yeah, honestly, he would be. He would be. I, I don't think he's the kind of guy who's disrespectful to people. Huh? I think no. I, I really. I think Stern is. I think he talks to people at a level that he knows they They'll will be comfortable accept. or or maybe just a little Pat, uncomfortable, yeah, but no, not definitely not a ridiculous. little past that. But. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Are we actually doing an intro? No, no. just play the video. <laughs> oh, that's the, the wrong video. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> that's GK weird. Dave is working the TriCaster today. <laughs> I'd like to apologize in advance. Trace is here. Hey, What's Trace. up, Tracy Trace? Jendy, Jendy's in the house. Hey, Jendy. Hey, Jendy. Anthony wants to know where he can get our intro music. I have no idea. I have no idea. That Dave Curley is in control of that. I have no idea what we use. Ray DVD got a Nokia uh, a Lumia, a Lumia 920? 920 to review for two weeks. Nice. Oh, you look like a news anchor <laughs> in that outfit with the glasses. Everybody keeps saying I look sophisticated with this outfit. I don't. What's that about? You look smart. It's just an outfit. You look and those smart. are just glasses. Are you saying I don't normally look very smart? <laughs> Is this what you're telling me, John P? <laughs> I would like you to answer uh, that. <laughs> no more compliments for you. You know what makes me really mad? What? I can't touch my screen on my i on my. You're scratching Mac. your screen. Well, I want to touch it. I want it to be touch screen like Windows 8. I know, but it's not. I, I said in uh, one of the shows that I recorded today, uh, that'll go out during the holidays, um, that Windows 8, it, it really kind of pushes us forward in compu- computing, right? Because mm-hmm. that is where we want to go. It's what where we do on our phones. It's definitely what we need to do, be doing on here. And of yeah. course, you can do it like this, but this is really complicated. I mean, yeah, like the whole Bluetooth is, situation, not not working for me anymore. Well, and more importantly, and no, you guys, we haven't talked about this, what's going on over in this regional area of the desk here yet, <laughs> but uh, more importantly, oh, hold on. Uh, it, it's not a full OS. Ready? Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're going to do this? Live. What's happening, people? I'm Callie Lewis. That's John P. over there. I am indeed John P. And he likes to address you as people. I do. I do like to say that. And folks. Yeah, you like the word folks. I say, hey, folks. I can't seem to say. It doesn't people. sound right coming from me. What do you just... You just say you. Guys. You guys. Are you, you, do you ever say use guys? No, I never say use guys. Like you're from... Uh, Minnesota? New, New York. Oh, or, is that... Or, yeah, Minnesota. Somewhere up in the... Up in the northern regions. I don't know. I don't know where they say that. I used to get Use made fun guys. of. I used to get made fun of by my family in Michigan that um, that I said y'all right, and they said you guys, and I eventually because I got made fun of so much, I adopted you guys, and I then hope that I don't offend women because I'm saying you guys. I don't think I do. I don't get offended by that. Anyway, so today is going to be a really interesting show because I've had like three hours of sleep and lots of coffee. <laughs> so good luck, John. <laughs> oh, God. Just what we needed. Did you oh, see this? 
By the way, yeah, that's awesome. I don't think we've shown the audience this. Yeah. Our uh, our writer, Jack Beavers, he gave us this. This is awesome. Be one yes. of the attack lobster. Anyways, it just is thought awesome. I'd show you guys. We've got a little doorway dolly. It's a... Uh, how do you describe what a doorway dolly is to people who don't know? It is a platform on wheels. That you put a tripod on and uh -huh. a camera and stuff like that. You, it a lets camera you, person gets to sit on it. Yeah, it lets you move it around, right? So we've got one of those. To and get rolling shots. Yeah, rolling shots, panning shots, things like that. We're going to attach that to the back of it as if it was a uh, license plate. Exactly. We're going to hang it on the back. that'll be perfect. That'll be good. That'll be good. So oh, wait, we've wait, been wait, wait, wait. Maker came up with a new name for us Geek Beat followers. Geek Knots? Geek Knots? Geek Knots? What do you think, guys? Vote yes or no. Geek Knots. I didn't know we didn't we it, I didn't know we were trying to come up with a name. Yeah, we need a name. We do need a name. Steph says no. Nope. Meh. Nope. Elmo <laughs> says meh. Uh oh. <laughs> nah. Sorry, Tomb Maker. <laughs> Lobbies. <laughs> nah. Yeah, you see, it doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Uh, very well. We do need a name for everybody, but hey, I'm you not guys, sure if that um, rolls off the tongue. We should start a uh, a post on the Google the Geek Google Plus Communities page to figure out a name. We should also. We need a new logo for the Geek Communities page because when I set that up, and by the way, we should talk about what that is because uh -huh. maybe not everybody knows that yet. Um, but just to finish the thought. When I set it up, I didn't have a logo for it, so I just grabbed Dexter and stuck him up there. Uh -huh. But I did not mean for it to be like only exclusively for Geek Beat. I mean, it's well, for no, geeks. It's that, for geeks in I general. I thought that logo could start representing geeks. Dexter could because he is definitely a geek. Yeah, I mean, look. Oh, never yeah, mind. Yeah, that's not him. <laughs> He's not that's over That's not there. him back there. But it's okay. I mean, I'm just saying. So I was kind of thinking about a little play on letters, like since it's the <laughs> what? Steph says, no, it's for Geek Beat fans. Uh -uh. Well, hopefully everybody oh. will be one. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, thought was, if we did a little play on the word geek and put like G plus E-K, oh. kind of like geek with a plus in the middle, I thought yeah. that might, If we could create a logo that had something like that to stick we up there, we could try I don't that. know, that'd be kind of cool. Um, so if you guys want to join the geek community geek on Google+, Plus, then take a look at this lower third. Bitly, uh, I believe it's bitly.com actually. Oh, it's not? It's bitly. It's, just it's bit bitly slash? Either way, it's bitly.com forward slash. G plus geeks. Yeah, but you have to... Uh, you have, you have to, to do it exactly like the lower third says. Yeah, for, capital G P. Why do you do caps? Capital No one geeks. does caps. Capital G, capital plus, capital geeks. See? See how hard that G is? G plus geeks. Why not just do them all lowercase? Well, fine. Make another one that's all <laughs> lowercase. It's not like that one's really hard to get on Bitly. Good, okay, great. we can Keep make it. Cable TV. We can make it every dang way you Lobster want. Lobster bites. That's cute, Bruce. That is cute, but it makes me hungry. <laughs> oh man! So we've been traveling a Richard lot. Richard says I need to do a cooking show. Yes. Indeed. I would like well, to do Well, we're doing show. more cooking on GeekBeat because GeekBeat is not just about technology. It's about, you know, lifestyle in general. So cooking is definitely involved in that. What is he saying? He, he's giving me a thumbs up. Yeah, oh, okay. cooking show. <laughs> uh, Digital Phil is in the house, and he would like everyone to be called Poses Minions. Poses Minions. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, Digital Phil. How are you? Are you on fun holiday again? Um, so Callie's going to kiss up to Digital Phil. I love you, Digital Phil. You are awesome. How are you today? <laughs> uh, I don't want to be told that I need to be murdered or anything like that. Right, <laughs> <You know>? exactly. <laughs> so uh, we've been doing a lot of traveling lately. and uh, Well, tell everybody where all we went. That's what I was about to say. Okay, go ahead. Say. Do it. Sorry. <laughs> so first of all, in the last three weeks, we've been to like four or five different places. Los Angeles for the LA Auto Show. We were. Which we still have some stuff to show you guys. Uh, then we went to Orlando, uh, Disney World, and we went to go see the new test track and the new fantasy land and all sorts of fun stuff. We have some footage coming out from uh, that very soon. Right, GK? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we went to Arkansas, of all places. And we, everybody's like, where does Arkansas fit into your lifestyle? You know, the geek lifestyle. This is awesome. Oh, yeah, that's from 
Uh, oh, yeah, that That's from when I got a bump on my head. That's right. So we went to go see three master bladesmiths that John's studying under. These, like, two of them are national treasures. They are amazing at what they do. I did a whole Google Plus post on it. It's hard to say. Google Plus post. Google Plus post on it. Uh, so you can go check those out. But, um... So we, we were bending some... Well, should I explain what we were Tell doing? Tell them. Okay, what did so you learn? I learned a lot about knives, about how the whole process is done. Um, we did some testing of knives before they were hardened and after they were hardened. And, um, you know, you want you want the knives to uh, be, be hard and break before they're hardened. And then after you quench them, harden them, go through that process... You want them to be able to bend. So we were doing this test and bending a knife that was done by, um, you know, one of the masters. And <laughs> it would not bend. It was <laughs> well, tough, wasn't it? It was tough. I was so I was pulling. <laughs> we had this whole gig. You know, we used a cheater bar, up, which is a pipe. Well, we really. put a pipe on the handle. They they the, cheat with the name. Well, the thing is that what we did was we stuck a a, a blade. A knife, a completed knife, we stuck it in a vice, okay? And <laughs> we stuck it in a vice, and so the handle was up. Well, if you just grab the handle and try and bend it, uh-huh. it, it is way too strong to bend. So instead, we put a pipe so you could grab the pipe up here and have it a lot of leverage, leverage, right? So I, now, was, I was at the top of the. She's thing. hanging off that thing. <laughs> I'm like, just pulling. <laughs> Literally and, <laughs> hanging with like all her weight, trying yeah. to bend this knife. Okay, and it was bending. It was just, it was hard to bend. It was bending a little. It was bending a little, and then bam! And then the <laughs> right handle, here. the handle snapped. Like the knife did not break. the The handle basically just shattered because it was made of wood. The handle just shattered, and when it did, she went bam and knocked herself <laughs> right in the head with a big steel pipe. Yeah. Oh, it, it hurt. Um, but the thing is, is bladesmithing is dangerous, you know? <laughs> it is. And every, what I, the main thing I learned along the way is that every step that you take through the process of making a blade, you have to be thinking about what can go wrong. Yeah. And uh, what the dangers are in that particular situation, because you're working with so many tools and so many dangerous things, and of course the blades themselves. And the th- the r- thing I did wrong was hold it right in front of my head. I should have been like this, yeah. where it would have hit my shoulder, if anything. All anybody wants to know is, where's the video? Oh, that'll be coming out. Dave Curley is working hard on that. Uh, it'll probably be after the holidays, though. So here's the funny part. That knife that uh, Dave was just showing you guys, it's all in pieces. Um, that's one that I tested because that was we knew was going to be dangerous. Um, we right. This was a yeah. John uh, didn't let me get anywhere near that. That one. was a really expensive knife. It was like one hundred and fifty or one hundred and seventy five dollars, um, and I bought it. Uh, uh, you know, it was it's it's a pretty decent knife for one that's kind of store bought and not handmade, handcrafted. But uh, we wanted to show even an expensive store bought knife what would happen. I had a very sneaky suspicion, and, and we all were in agreement, that it was probably going to break instead of bend. And they should bend, not break, for safety reasons. So yeah, because I put if you're chopping stuff, you don't want it to just Oh, yeah, it would be bad. So I put that one in the vise, and I had her and everybody else stand way back. And then I went to town on it, and indeed it broke. And it was explosive when it broke. I mean, pieces flew everywhere. Sharp, sharp pieces of blade flew around. And uh, so that's why we didn't have her do it. Right. We thought it was safe to have her do one and it that was, was made by the... one of the master smiths because we knew it wasn't going to break. And it didn't break. It didn't break. But just the handle broke. The went. handle broke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was our adventure in Arkansas. And then we went off to D.C., uh, Washington, D.C., to chat with Gary Shapiro from the CEA about his new book. And then uh, when we experienced all sorts of... Uh, Traffic, which was miserable. D.C. Now you see why I moved away from D.C. Yeah, you used to live there. I, I don't did. Know how you did it? There's a picture of you, why are you and Gary. Guys? That was oh, they had their they own had their little own studio, which was awesome. Yeah, it wasn't real big. It was a room, the size of a kind of a be. room, and it was plenty big enough mm-hmm. to do interviews and shoot all kinds of videos. And it was a nice production studio, like 
the guy, high quality, the guy who very well done. Set that studio up, Steve, I believe, yep, right? Yep. He had it all rigged so that the lights were going through Ethernet cables on dimmers, and he had everything just set up like to the max. It was awesome. Yeah, he did great, a great job. And while we were there, we did stop and we got we we were actually going to have lunch with Trace. Yeah, but Trace and Lee. Oh, it was yeah, going to take like forty five minutes just to get to Trace to go have lunch with him. He's in the chat room. And uh, we just couldn't make it there. Yeah. So we, we headed towards BWI Airport, and, and that picture we stopped at uh, Joe's. Don't tell them where we, we I'm going to tell them. Oh, gosh. We stopped at Joe's Crab Shack. Yes, we ate at a chain. But it was either that or uh, Pop Bellies, which I figured, you know, it were where we should be eating some seafood. Sorry, I was so. laughing because Digital Phil wants me to remove one of your batteries. Uh, well, they're all... Uh, they're, <laughs> All talking about how I'm a robot. I don't know what got that started. The the knife story? The pipe story? I don't know. I don't know what got started. Um, <laughs> I don't know mean. how banging myself in the head and hurting myself makes me a robot. But <laughs> they think that you just did that to kind of, uh, you know, try Make and myself prove seem... that you were, you were human. You know something else fun that happened this week? What happened? We were named one of the top three iTunes podcasts in technology by iTunes themselves. That was awesome. very, very nice of them. Um, much appreciated. Yes. Uh, you know, we were there with uh, Twit and in Gadget. Yeah, what great! I mean, what better company could you possibly be in? I don't know. I mean, but so yeah. So thank you quite very an much, honor. and thanks to you guys for continuing to watch and. Download it and That's you know, right. show iTunes that you care. Yeah, seriously. I, I know that some of the things that they consider are like the rating. Uh -huh. So if you guys go into iTunes and you give us a five star rating, and if you're downloading the episodes, it goes into the you know count thing and shows how popular it is. And if as long as we can continue to have a really good rating and, and downloads are strong, then that definitely exactly. goes into it. So we we really appreciate you guys and we appreciate the guys over it. At Apple and iTunes who make all that tech infrastructure possible for us to to, to, to bring you the show. Exactly. Harumph, so. I think he's making a joke. Watching <laughs> Geek Beat on iTunes sucks. When I try and type a response to you, it screws things yeah, up. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, um, oh. Uh, oh, look. Data Lord found an actual link to it. Wow, I didn't even know that link. I didn't know you could link to it like that. I was that. trying to find that. Thank you. Well, that says Euro iTunes. I think that oh. we're also listed on the Apple's... Top European, 10 in European top oh. ones or, or something. In Europe, so in European, yeah, nice. that's awesome. Cool. That is awesome. So uh, you want to know something gross? I don't know if I do. This is awesome. I have a this feeling I'm going to hear it even gross. if. Oh, before before we get there, go back to that other picture that you just had up. Throw this up there. Oh back yeah. Back on our travels, real quick. Um, so at Disney World, Keith Barrett, uh, the very far one uh, in the blue, um, he. Is a Disney World employee, and he's a he's a longtime viewer. So he uh, he hung out with us a little bit, and we got, finally got to meet him. He's invited us to Disney World like so many different times. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got to finally meet him. Scott Cublin on the other side uh, is our friend and great photographer, and so we got to hang out with him. And then we got to meet Gordon Lang. That's right, Gordon. The oh guy my in the God. front who I'm imitating. He's crossing his arms like that. Let and me I'm tell like, you something. Oh, I could gotta do what he's doing because he's so funny. Gordon, he needs to be committed to an institution because <laughs> that guy is insane. He's, he's hilarious. He's insane. I was hurting so bad. He was everything that uh, came out of his mouth was hilarious. It was just <laughs> cracking me up. I was like, God, I need to hang out with this guy because uh, yeah, woo, he was cracking me up. I was in pain. <laughs> Uh, somebody was asking who the who's running the TriCaster. That would be GK Dave. He's doing a great job, don't you guys think? That's right. He's got another. Oh. He's got another photo teed up. I know. Okay, we're still on the when travels. We were with apparently. Gordon and. This is the from Disney World. You took a fantastic shot of this. Did I look? She says it with amazement. Like I cannot believe. No, I'm just. Even a, it looks really cool. It even looks a like... blind squirrel finds a nut sometimes. <laughs> that's not what I meant. You know that. Yeah, um, that's not a bad shot. We were at, shot outside at of the. Uh, what is that castle called? The Disney Castle, the White the castle? castle. Is it White Castle? Do they call it White Castle? Maybe no, you can get a that, burger in there. No. I don't no. know. Anyway, that was the castle. They projected things onto it, and then they they uh, shoot off the fireworks in the background. I got lucky with that picture. So, I swear the position that Callie is in with her neck. 
Oh, he thinks that when I was doing this, oh. I guess it looked photoshopped. Looked like you were photoshopped, <laughs> no, like your head was, was like somebody took your head and turned it sideways. Do you have that photo of, of the one I took? Uh, one of, you took. That one, yeah. Oh. Okay, so this is my version of the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Go it back looks, to John's. <laughs> it, does, it does look this like... This is mine. <laughs> that, was her, that was mine. That was hers. Okay. Uh, That's the best shot I captured with okay. my iPhone at the time yeah. of the fireworks. Yours, can we go back to hers? It looks like that's what happened a split second after mine when everything caught on fire. <laughs> yeah. Ben says it looks like the castle's under fire. Yeah. It's all the smoke. <laughs> okay. All right. So now on to something really gross. Great. What? <laughs> all right. Um, so this couple, I don't know where they were located. This couple has a seven-month-old baby. Uh-huh. And, the, you know, for, for a couple of days, the baby's kind of going like this. and Scratching you know, at its head. Yeah, but not, like, majorly, just uh-huh. kind of, like, uncomfortable, right? And they thought, you know, maybe she's getting sick, maybe an inflammation or something. Yep. And then they feel this bump one yeah. day on the, on, on the cheek, and they and think, like, oh, oh, definitely a lymph node. Oh, and so they take her to the doctor, and... Uh, then the, the doctors are confused. They're like, I don't know what's going on with this kid. Um, and then there's like a pimple looking thing. And it's like, and they try to drain the bump. Nothing drains out of it. And then all of a sudden, pop, this shows up that it's a feather. What? A feather popped out of the baby's cheek. Okay, what do you mean a feather? An actual feather. See, huh. the blue line is the doctor's <sighs> just marking the spot. But that is a feather that popped out. I guess... Like the baby was sleeping on a feather pillow, maybe? And the oh, I highly and the doubt feather... she was sleeping on a, baby, baby, a feather pillow. But somehow she ingested the feather. And the body just, just declined it, right? It rejected it. And it started pushing it. I guess it, it came, maybe got caught it got in caught. here and then started pushing its way out. Okay, that's disgusting. I know. I told you it was disgusting. <laughs> Why did we see that? What because did that I, have to do with technology, it has nothing geekdom, to, or anything else? It has nothing to do with it. But somebody tweeted it, and, and I you just had to gross us all out with uh-huh. you. <laughs> well, thank you for that. You're welcome. Don't you think we should have things that don't have to, anything to do with technology? Yeah, Tube Maker says the stork needs to preen a bit more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Apple 99 man, thank Digital you. Digital Phil wants me to fix it. Fix what? I don't know. Fix the feather? Yes. Uh, all right, what you got for us? What do I have? Just like that I've, on the spot? Well, oh, I'll I've tell you one thing. I've just been going, going, going. I have this. Oh, I have it, too. I have a cooler one, We too. both have the new Samsung Galaxy Note 2s. Yay! Let me be clear about that, folks. Callie gave up her iPod, or I'm sorry, That's iPhone. That's called an iPhone, yeah. She gave up her iPhone for the Galaxy 2. That's all she carries now is the Galaxy 2. So we both have them. Mine is gray. I mean, I got the gray cover and the silvery, you know, like case. I got the silver one. Silver, her, oh. Yeah, look, mine's it silver. It is, I thought it was black. It's silver, silver and gray. And here, let me see yours. Okay. And hers is blue and white. She's got white. So I wasn't, I, I normally Blue. am not like a color person at all. I don't, I, I like black cases or white cases, and that's about it. Um, but, but they sent us these two cases, right? Uh-huh. A black and a, and a blue one. I wasn't going to stick you with the blue one. Uh-huh. Um, Just like you weren't going to stick me with the black phone? Somehow you got the white phone and the blue case. Okay. See, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I didn't want that. I, did I wanted not this one. I know that there was a black and a white one. I just opened the first box and that's what I got. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. She told me what, asked what was in there and then I. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I actually don't mind the blue at all. It's actually a pretty cool blue. Well, the funny thing it's is, nice. she was a little undecided on that whole blue thing. And then she, and then like within 30 minutes of putting that thing on, somebody goes, Ooh, I love the color of your phone. Can I see that? And then she, then she really liked it. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, it, I, yeah, okay. That's kind of what happened. <laughs> it took approval from somebody else for me. And to then love you're it. like, oh, well, yeah, yeah I, mine is special. I could be proud. Anyway, I will say this: I am in love with this phone. Oh my god! Me Within too. like two days, I did. I could not tell you how I ever lived without it. Some people who think it's too big, 
you're wrong. That's this everybody's is just first reaction. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so big. But it doesn't, it may look a little big when, you know, we're holding it up, but it doesn't feel wrong at all. It feels so right. Uh, Apple 99 man wants to know if I have considered rooting before. I have. I've actually mm -hmm. rooted other devices in the past. But usually when I rooted, I only did that when I needed some, ac some additional functionality I couldn't get in the yeah. stock build. And I'll tell you what, with the, I, you know, I had the S3 before this. And I didn't need anything that it didn't have. And this, I definitely, I can't, I don't know of anything that you can get out of a rooted version that I don't have here. So if somebody can show me, you know, something that, yeah. a reason to do it, I would do it. But this thing has everything that I want and need. And uh, so I have been loving it so far. Okay, oh, so that's one thing. Is somebody leaving us? Everybody's saying bye. I think Trace left. Oh, Steph is, Steph's or leaving, Steph. I guess. Oh, okay. oh. Help, well, he has to go help decorate for Christmas. Nice. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> you know, this year I, I decided um, I haven't really done anything in the last few years for Christmas or the holidays or anything. And this year I decided I need to, I want like a little Christmas tree, like one, like not a big a one, tree? just like a, a mini tree that I can sit on the, the, the tabletop. And I was really determined to go get one. And then we started having all these last minute trips come up. And, and you so didn't get one. I haven't gotten one, and I don't think I will at this point. Uh, I guess. It's, it's almost holidays over. Anyway, <sighs> that was a complete side note. I love this thing, too. And I, I did want to say something about the Galaxy Note. Um, the Android in general, um, but this seems to work a little better than other Android devices, even. Um, well, it's got a quad-core processor no, 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 and a I, ton I mean, of RAM. No, 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 integration and... with, with Google and stuff. So oh, I yeah. have multiple... Gmail accounts, right? And, you know, um, I, I use certain things for others. Like, I have one email address, and I have that connected to my Google Docs, but then I have a different email address connected to my Google Plus, and I'm all disorganized like that. But there's a reason for it. <laughs> but that, the, the point is that the iPhone doesn't handle that well at all. I can't click a link and follow it through. I have to re-log in and blah, blah, blah. But this actually understands it. It's smart enough to go to the correct per place with the correct uh, email address and everything. And I know a lot of people are in my situation. Yeah. You're looking at me like I'm an idiot. No. <laughs> you, were, you were just I'm just out. trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out what you think is different on that. But then I'm thinking to myself, well, you have been using an Apple phone yeah. for so long, you wouldn't really... But you, even on... Like, you didn't... It, for example, I, I had... The Samsung Charge, then the S3, and then the Note 2. The only things that I really notice that are different are some formatting things. Okay. There are things that this definitely does different than those other devices. For yeah. example, the keyboard that it has built into it. It's a Samsung keyboard that has swipe. But as one example, the keyboard has an extra row above all the letters that are all the numbers. Yes, I when like that. When you used that. to have to do something to get numbers, like shift or whatever. Right. Because you have a lot more screen real estate, mm -hmm. so they just give it to you, and it's way better. Yeah. So, well, anyway, the well, other thing... Well, speaking of Iowa... Oh, go ahead. Well, the other thing that uh, was, and I showed this on the uh, episode, what, Wednesday's episode or something, I showed this off. This is the bridge. It is a keyboard. It was a Kickstarter project. Yeah. And... Uh, it took a long time for me to get this. I waited for so long. Like Do you remember months, how many right? times I kept saying, I wish the bridge would get here. I wish the bridge yeah. would get here. And I, I kept forgetting what it was, and I was like, what's the bridge? What are you talking about? But you see, it, it looks like uh, an actual Apple keyboard. It is made of aluminum. It's got the soft-touch keys on it. Um, it, it it's high-quality machined uh, keyboard, and it it has a rechargeable battery in it that they claim is good for, I don't know, I think they said it's like six months. What? Yeah, it will last forever for if you just use the keyboard thing. It lasts a long time. But this one, can you zoom in a little on that, Ken? See, this one has the speaker in it. Yep. And this speaker compared, big speaker compared to the one in here, it is way louder. I mean like two or three times as loud. Really? And clearer sounding. Now, the bad, okay, now if you're listening to the speaker all the time, the battery doesn't last as long. Right, of course. But it still lasts a long time. Um, and the cool thing about the keyboard is you just grab the, the 
iPad and just kind of pull it off. Yeah, see, just it, kind of, it's like a disconnect when you want it to, pops off. but not when you don't want it to. I, it's like some kind of mind control or something. Look at this. Two, oh. Oh. I had to really shake it to get it to pop off. You scared me. I wasn't looking. I mean, really? You got, yeah, just, you got to really get it going. See, I can't get it off again. That's pretty impressive. Okay, one side is starting to come yeah. off. So it takes a lot of effort to get that thing to come off. <laughs> Digital fill. Oh, look you what popped up. You waited six months and break it. Maps. A map popped up. Speaking of which. Speaking of maps. Uh, so you know that Apple has, you know, the, the iPhone and iOS devices have not had Maps, Google Maps on them for a while now with iOS 6 because Apple decided to go their own route, which was a mistake in my opinion. And now Google Maps is ready to go. It's free and available on the store. And I did install it on here. Let's see. I have, I see Maps. Let me see. Mr. Jig said that was the best segue ever. Was it? Mm -hmm. Apparently. Excellent. Wait, where is my Google Maps? I'm not seeing it. Let me, let me check the app store. No, just do a search. I did a search. You didn't download it? Google Maps. I did. I said it. I down. I told it to download. Did you delete it? Google Maps. Google Maps. Now I did a search for Google Maps and I'm not even finding but Google Maps. But you did a search in your on your device itself? I did and it I it just says you Maps. Know how to work this Apple thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, why is Google Maps not showing oh, iPad apps. I'm on an iPad app. Let me see. So you, you keep talking. Let it. me see. All right. So anyway, I want the uh, I want a trackpad. I know. Yeah, that's the thing. Because it looks like a Every, MacBook. Everybody who keeps messing with the bridge, uh, they sit down and they try and use the mouse. There's no mouse. Now, if this was Android, guess what? You could get a keyboard like that with a mouse because mice's work. Mice's. Mm-hmm. They oh, work. Mice. They work on Funny. Android. I don't know why uh, you devices. did. You deleted it. I did not delete it. You had to have. Did you just find it? No. And you don't, did you find it in the app oh, store? Look. look, see, look, there's the app store. It says Google Maps, does it not? Yes, it does. Do the search and tell me where Google Maps is. Ben actually, I believe, wrote, yep, Ben wrote a comparison. Yeah, I was just about to say. TV forward slash maps compared. I, I, Thank you, Digital Phil. I don't I know. I try and own everything. You broke the store. I broke the store? Yep. Look at that. Can't even find it. <laughs> Cannot even find it. Now, isn't it possible to wirelessly sync between my MacBook Air and my iPad? Can't you wirelessly sync, folks? Yeah. Yes. They're saying yes. So I'm going to do a search in the iTunes. Oh, I was oh wait. To can I whine about iTunes? Hey, Dave, can you pull up my computer screen? Look at the magic of technology. That we have. That's my desktop. Digital Phil actually gave me a compliment. Did he? Thank you. Wow, you do look nice today. So you know, Um, this is my desktop because Ken is not just an engineer; he's a magician. (laughs) You're watching it straight out of my uh, my computer here. Let me complain about something. By the way, do you guys like my selection of music? I have a little bit of everything. What do you have? Well, I've got. I can't read that far. For example, here's Darius Rucker. All right, Darius Rucker. He's that guy from uh, what's that group he used to be in? So, somebody the knows. It's the black guy. What's his name? Um, he was in. Oh, that this group. is a fascinating huh? conversation. Hootie. Hootie. That's Hootie. That's right. Uh, Insert funny. Got it first. No digital fill. Beep. Yes, that's right. Hootie and the Bluefish. Darius Rucker is from Hootie and the Bluefish. <laughs> You're just Bluefish. using the chat room as a as a cheat sheet, aren't you, GK? No, he went. Uh, <laughs> he went. He he decided to sing country, and really? and he's good. And by the way, he got like inducted in the Country Music Hall of Fame or something. Anyway, got some of that. Then I got like Kirk Whalem here. Kirk Whalem is like jazz type music type stuff. Mm. Then we got some U two, some Shaka Khan, Will Smith. Oh, I like Will Smith. Beastie Boys. We got a little bit of everything. Mm. You know what we don't have? Show my desktop again, Dave. You know what we don't have? This is what happened when I upgraded to iTunes 11. Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing, Max asked. Where is this going? If I plug in my iPad here, you cannot see it in the dang iTunes 11 anymore. 
It used to be right over here on the left side of the screen, and now nothing. It is not. It is not there. Look, here's what you have to do, people. It shows up. You have to go to View, Show Sidebar. Yeah. Okay? It they they took I already had a sidebar in my that's previous what, version. That's what you're upset about. Not that you can't access it, but that they They hid it from me. That you have to actually do something in order to accomplish it. Do you know how long it took for me to freaking find that? At least three minutes. That is egregious. That is bad. I, although, why didn't you just go to view? Because I shouldn't have to. Oh, did you click the... Oh, wait. No, I... Okay, so I'm looking at my iTunes now that we're talking about iTunes. Mm -hmm. And I just got a code for this, what I think is going to be an awesome app. Oh, no. Called Robots for iPad. Let me just describe a couple of the things that it has in the features list. Now, keep in mind, I haven't played with it yet. I'm, but I you already downloaded installed it, it over here, so I'm going, I just did it right before the show. Meet 126 robots from 19 countries. Swipe to see robots in 360-degree views. Tap to interact with the robots. You can view over 500 spectacular photos. Watch hundreds of videos of robots in action. Uh, learn how to get started in robotics. I mean, there seems to be like a lot. Hey, kid, this... what happened to that little uh, awesome that little iPad to adapter to HDMI thing that we, we had sitting it. around here? Is it isn't it still sitting out somewhere? Yeah. We just had it sitting out. Hand it to me real quick. <laughs> and the Mister Jigs. Remember when we were doing the Windows Eight show and everybody was like, you know, we were talking about how there were some complaints and oh, TriCaster can't read this. No. Oh. If I plug this into that, no. it won't read the HDMI output? Because it's putting out 30 frames at 720. I guess we can't read that. <laughs> You're laughing, but it was your, it was your app know. that I was going to show okay. off. But I Look. haven't even tried it yet. Look. Oh, you have it up there? Yeah, maybe he, <gasps> can, he can zoom in on it. Ooh. See, this just looks awesome. Okay, so we have robots. Here's Neo. Uh, Nao, N A O. Well, oh wow! See? Swipe. You can spin them around. What else is there? I can't really see from here, but look. It, looks it like says, "Did you some... know, Aldebaran has sold more than two thousand Nao robots to labs and schools all over the world." Cool. So you can learn all about the robots that yep. are out there. Um, here's a, a chick who's a robot. I've seen this chick. She's run a marathon. I saw her. Uh, Look oh, at, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, funny that they made her into a robot. That's, that is kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Um, cyborg. Is there a cyborg? She's a cyborg. Oh, she's a cyborg. Here's Da Vinci. I don't know what he is, but he looks like he would... It looks like he's got things that inject into your brain. <laughs> hold your brain. Just, just hold your brain here. Don't and just worry. kill you. <laughs> Anyway, just to kill you. Anyway, so that's uh, robots for iPad. I, I, and again, I haven't tried it yet, but it looks all. I mean, well, we just tried it right this second for the first time. It looks yeah. pretty awesome. It looks kind of cool. I'll give it up. If you like robots, um, we were talking about iTunes 11, and you were complaining, and I was mm -hmm. saying that I think it was Tube Maker that pointed out that I had said, "Why is everyone complaining? Geeks should like change and new things." I, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Digital Phil thinks I'm nailing this Actually, segment anyway, so... Yeah, that's all that matters. Thanks, Digital Phil. Actually, the thing, the complaint I have with iTunes is in the store itself, iTunes 11, um, when you're looking through... We're in the store. Okay, you can we're show in the, them the store, store, right? Show them the store, Dave. The, I, I look at ratings a lot. Um, okay. Go into one. Just go into go, one of go what? click one. Like anything here? Any any app like or the, whatever. Like uh, the music? That's, no, go to an app. Okay, hang on. Let me go back. Um, I look at ratings all the time so that I, you know, can determine whether I even want to try movies, downloading TV something. shows, apps like Flickr. Sure. Okay, here's Flickr. Okay, so see how you have to click that. It, it says, used to be you have to click over to ratings and reviews. Where? It, it, oh, you have to click tab on that right there. And so I, I really preferred that it was just right under the images. Oh, yeah, all the little, these little star things, you mean? No, you scroll down and you look at it, where they're going to be. 
Yeah. Oh, you mean right over here, it right? Was that, it was, was on, on the that sidebar first here. page. Um, no, it was oh, right under the images of the first tab there. Oh, it was under here. Yeah. Oh, and now there's description. And then the description, and that's the other thing. The description of the app is up below the images, which I don't, I want to see the description Yeah, that's true. First. Let's see the description first. Yeah. Like, what is this even that I'm looking at? Yeah, because you can't always tell from the images. You might be like, well, those are cool images, but... Uh, so that's my, my main complaint that? with iTunes 11, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's fine. Oh, and, uh, you know, I thought what was great was... Oh, let's see. Oh, Tube Maker. I gave Tube Maker credit for the uh, Windows 8 thing. And, uh, Here you go. Best of else. 2012. Sorry. My memory. And we'll just take a look at podcasts here and scroll right on down. Oh, look. It's Callie Lewis right here under Best Technology. It's both of us, except they don't have our right image. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> well... Did you want to say anything else about um, iTunes 11, or did you just want to no, read po- I just uh, wanted to whine. Phil's comments? I just wanted to whine about the fact that they hid my sidebar, and I had to go up here, and I oh. wanted to show you guys that all you have to do is go to View, Show Sidebar. They hid it, even though it was there beforehand. <laughs> Before the upgrade, it was there. I'm After so the upgrade, sorry. gone. Not fair. So, uh, speaking of apps, yeah. another good transition. Google Plus had an up- update today for both Android and iOS. Uh, iOS doesn't get all the features that we on Android get, but um, big major thing on Android, community support. Yay! Yay. Is it not in uh, the iOS? Okay. Yeah, it is. Right oh, here. Communities. Oh, is it? Right there. Communities. Oh, I thought I read that it wasn't. Right okay. there. Communities. Cool. Look, Good. and there's the geek community. 4,129 members. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Tell all your friends. Definitely. Everybody needs to join the geek community. Elmo TK, yes. Uh, we are be- our, our videos are being displayed on um, Target TVs at the moment. They were last year, and they are again this year. Mm-hmm. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, so community support on the mobile device, awesome. I had a little bit of slowness with my app update, but people said that it kind of Works, it way, works its way through that after a couple of hours. Mm. Okay. Um, what else you got? What else do I have? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Dave, can you show my desktop again? Apple 99, man, I don't like the uh, moods feature because of the way it posts. Like, the emoticons don't post to, um, to the desktop version like without, they don't have an image. Well, I don't know about that, but I know about this on okay. my desktop. That was a chicken nugget. I saw you post that. I got that for free at Walmart. No, Sam's? I mean, it's Sam's Club. So I got it for free. So that was a sample and they had just decorated or did it you It was. Decorate All it? of the chicken nuggets had smiley faces. Is that ranch and like a... Barbecue. Uh, oh, it's barbecue, barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce and ranch. Hmm. Yep. So, And nope. did it taste good? It was delicious. It was a chicken nugget. By definition, it's delicious. Oh, is it? Yeah, by okay. definition. Did you buy some? Because that's the whole point of them doing samples. Well, no, I didn't buy any. <laughs> but I got free ones. I always feel I thought bad the... about eating a sample if, I'm not, if I know I'm not going to buy it. I, ha- I thought the whole point of samples was that they're free. <laughs> no, well, I mean, they have them out there so that you See, won't buy the product. You're, you're exactly the reason they give away the free chicken nuggets with smiley faces on them. <laughs> if you had eaten that chicken nugget with I a smiley face, obligated. you'd have been like, oh, I just ate that. Now I need to buy the four-pound bag of chicken nuggets. Yeah. But I didn't. Okay. But to be honest, I almost You did. are the reason that we will not have free samples anymore. Really? <laughs> because... <laughs> How there much, are more of me than you. How much money do you think I spent at Sam's today when I went there? Oh, you bought a lot. I know you did. <laughs> I bought I know a lot more. They should be giving free samples to get me into Sam's. They don't even expect me to eat those. They just want to give me those because I'm going to go nuts on everything else, okay? I spend hundreds of dollars. I can't walk into a Sam's or a Costco without leaving like at least $300 poorer. Right. Like I go in for a box of nuts. It's three hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Are you guys the same way? <laughs> By the way, uh, Apple. Look at insert man. funny. The over under is four hundred and fifty on my Sam's Club bill. <laughs> nice. I'm taking the over. 
Um, Apple 99 man, first of all, wants to know where the hangout is. I thought we started that. I guess we didn't. I'm sorry. Start it. We set up for it and then we forgot to start it. I plugged in all this junk and I got the camera over there and I never started it. Okay, but the next question he has was how is the best way to cook ribs? Oh, the best way to cook ribs. Indeed. Would you like to answer that? Okay. I will answer that, but it also depends on what. <laughs> Sorry, Tim Maker says you paid a lot for a chicken nugget. I did. I was like, that was the most Sorry. expensive chicken nugget ever. At least they put a smiley face on him. <laughs> um, the best way to cook ribs, now it depends on what you have access to. Okay? Because. Right. If Whether you have, you have like a smoker or a grill if, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, a smoker or if you had, for example, a water oven oh, like the sous vide. Yeah. Supreme. But. Um, so let's just pretend, in my opinion, the very best way to cook ribs. Okay. The very best way to cook ribs is in a smoker. I prefer an electric smoker because they control their temperature really well. You put in some apple wood chips. You get a baby back ribs, by the way. I don't like, I mean, normal beef ribs are okay, uh, but well, they're big and they're tougher. Are tender, more tender, right? Baby back ribs can be much more tender than even big beef ribs. So you get a, a rack, a, you know, a rack which is like a slab of baby back ribs. You put barbecue sauce all over them. You wrap them in two layers of aluminum foil, and you stick them in the smoker. And and be, below the, below the smoker, you got a little thing of water. You mix it with fifty percent apple juice. What? And 50% water. Ha! You didn't know that. I didn't know that. 50% apple juice, 50% water down there for the smoker. Plus you use apple wood chips. Okay. Okay? I think think Apple Man, Apple 99 Man is probably liking this apple theme. That's right. That's right. Now. Okay. If you don't have a smoker. Okay. Well, okay. You probably have a grill. Can you do the same? Well, not the same thing, but. You can achieve similar results on a grill. What you do is. Your grill usually has multiple burners on it. You put your ribs in the aluminum foil over on one side where you do not turn on the burners. Okay. So don't turn put the it burners on heat. high on the other one mm-hmm. and put a little box, a little metal box. You got to use a metal box. Use a little metal box with a little bit of water and some, get some wood chips in it. Just a tiny, tiny amount of water, but soak the wood chips in water. Put them in there over the heat. So that the wood chips are kind of burning and smoking, and you kind of use your grill as a smoker, and you cook them for a couple hours like that. Hmm. And mmm, they're tender and juicy and delicious. Do they fall right off the bone? They fall off the bone. You know what? We had, I think I think I can call it probably some of the best barbecue that I've ever had yeah, that's in true. Arkansas. Who to thunk it? Who to thunk it? Who to thunk? I mean, Texas, we all claim to have the best barbecue, but then they um, they ordered some from a from a friend of theirs, and it was just amazingly good. I'm yeah, just but that dreaming guy, of it right that now. That guy has a barbecue truck. He doesn't even have a restaurant. He has a barbecue truck. Oh, I didn't hear that. He's one of those guys that parks on the side of the road. They're always the best, and they said he was like a national champion. Wow. Okay, well, so. It was good. Yeah, it was some of the best barbecue I've ever had. Um. Before we move on to other tech stuff, pull up my um, Google Plus. Your I Google learned, Plus? I learned something today. I posted a random picture today of guy cleaning windows. Google.com forward slash Apparently it wasn't so random. plus Callie Lewis. Okay, so the, where is it? Do you see it? I saw right it earlier. Right? Okay, right there. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay, so this picture I posted... Because I thought it was an awesome picture, and I said, this guy knows how to have fun at his job. And every commenter was like, oh, no, this, this is a thing. It's at a children's hospital, and the people who work with the window, uh, as, as window cleaners, they dress up as different superheroes to bring smiles to the kids' faces. That is pretty awesome. Because they're sick and feeling bad. That is awesome. Digital cool Phil has that? a question. Yes. Why is the iPad's speaker, why does it suck so bad? I'm 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 paraphrasing you, Digital Phil. Why does the iPad speaker suck so bad? I don't know. But built in, it is not even stereo. It's just this little tiny mono speaker off on one corner, and that's never been the strength of the iPad. You would think for a device designed for digital media consumption, it would have like 
a good stereo set of speakers in it and wouldn't really need that much improvement. But no, it's terrible. I think they expect people to listen to them on, on, uh, on their headphones. headphones. Yeah. I don't know. So um, moving back into the tech space outside of us, well, the superheroes, that's, you know, geeky space there. That's pretty geeky. But um, the transporter launched, like, their, you guys have probably seen us talk about this, but um, they launched the Kickstarter project just a few days ago, I think. It's, it's not even week. a week old yet. It's not even a week old. And already they're very close to reaching their goal, and I'm super excited to see this come to market. Um, so what it is, we'll explain it. It's this little hard drive thing. See, inside that device is a hard drive standing up on its feet. I like to think of it as feet. Yeah. It's cute, <laughs> isn't it? It's adorable. And it has lights, the LED lights that go uh-huh. around the base of it. And so um, inside of that is a drive. You get a couple of these things. You put one at your home, one at your you know, office or your brother's house, your mom's house, friend's house, whatever. And... You can replicate your data. You can sync data like movies, for example. You have a whole movie collection, and I just... (laughs) No, I mean, I admire your... your, um... Um, (laughs) I just stepped in it. As the boys boys said, (laughs) you have movies, I have movies, we have movies. (laughs) So that's what it does. So what happens, what <laughs> Callie's trying to tell you is, I have a lot of photographs at my house. Right. And you admire those photographs. Exactly. You admire those photographs so much uh-huh. that I shared my photograph directory with the one on my, my transporter house. with you on yours. And, and the now- good news is, if something happens to yours... It's replicated on mine, so I can give them back, essentially. We can, you know, we can sync it back up with a new one when you fix your hard drive issue, and we're all safe. Right. So, for example, I could go to your house and watch my photo collection. <laughs> exactly. No, but you don't or have to Or you could come it. to my yeah. house and watch my photo collection. <laughs> I just got back blacklisted. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> and then the other thing is... How's the, it doing on Kickstarter? Other, Let's the see. The other cool thing about it is that you can uh, sync different directories with different devices. So if you have like five or six of these things across your family's uh, houses, you can say, I want my mom to have access to this folder, or this directory, and I want my brother to have access to this directory. It's pretty cool. Yes, it is very cool. Let's pop right over to my desktop here. Okay. Where we will check out my Kickstarter page. These are are the things that I have supported in the past. So I got Philip Nelson's album and the Cloud FTP. You remember Uh when we did that? Yeah. Trigger Happy Camera Remote. That lets me use my iPhone or Android phone to set off my DSLR. Here's my bridge laptop thingy. Up here is the Edge Sound speaker. That one didn't make, unfortunately, but uh, Wait, they what? built them anyway. Oh, those yeah, speakers, the remember, they built yeah. them anyway. Yeah, and we these have one. are the two I'm waiting anxiously for: okay. the Aviator Travel Jib and the Rhino Slider. You know, I was those wondering why we soon. didn't take a jib to Arkansas because we don't have the Travel Jib ready, mm. and the other one was too big. Okay. okay, here's Transporter. Let's see how it's going. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. The edge Sound. Here's the Edge Sound speaker. We'll get to that in a moment. Here you go. Look at this. Four, they're at an even 400 backers now, 82,500, and they have 27 days to go. And, and they just need 100,000 to make it make they're it gonna reality. Make, they're oh, going to yeah, make. They're going to make. They're going to make within like another day or two yeah. max. And uh, so you guys, I'm not kidding. I'm totally 100% serious. We are fortunate to have some. Yes. That what we have are the early prototype units. I mean, they gave us like maybe number five and number six that were ever built. And we've got them and we've been giving them tons of feedback on it. Yeah. And of course, they're also taking feedback from the Kickstarter people like, what do you want to see and stuff. But we're actually using them and giving feedback on a daily basis. And I will tell you right now, these have the opportunity to be a kind of life-changing type of technology. Yeah. You, you just... I. I could spend the next hour telling you all the ways 
that you could use this thing? I mean, there's so many use cases. You can just, whatever you're looking to do, you could probably do. You're going to want them. So if nothing else, here's what I would recommend. You can get them in one of different ways. You can either get them with or without the drives already installed. So like you could buy them with one terabyte drives installed. Here's what I would do. I would buy the, the bare ones that do not have drives yet. Okay. But the, those... Hang the, on. Okay. I would get... You need a pair of them. Mm. Having one is cool. If you guys get one, I'm seriously thinking that we will probably set up a directory and share it with anybody who's a Geek Beat fan. Uh-huh. And we'll put stuff in it and it will replicate to you. Yeah. And it will be cool. Because you can share just a directory. But... You're going to want two because you're going to want to have one somewhere off-site. That's the whole point of keeping your stuff backed up. And so get a pair, and then you can order you two terabyte drives off Amazon. How much do they cost? Let's see. Amazon.com. I want a two terabyte, 2.5. It's 2.5 inch drives, okay? Not the three and a half. Yeah, exactly. the, here you go. Western Digital Green 2 terabyte mobile drive, 189 Okay. And if you don't want to buy them separately, you can buy them in a bundle. You like can buy, but you can only the get drive. the one terabyte drives. But you can only get the one terabyte, right? I would, I mean. I mean, yeah, the more storage you have, the better off. The thing is, we've got the one terabyte ones, and I love them so much. We're going to fill up the one terabyte one. Oh, of course. So We have so much stuff to put on. Get you two terabyte Those ones. pictures. You know, take up a lot of space. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, so that's pretty awesome. If you guys have any questions about that, let us know. Um, and or you know, concerns or issues or anything you know that we can pass on to them. Mm-hmm. Just tell us. Yeah, exactly. What else we got on the list of um, things to discuss? Well, uh, I I just looked at this a little bit. The um, door bot. Uh, oh yeah, we have a write up. Who, who wrote that? Who we have a write up on our uh, on Geekbeat. Somebody, John John Avalon wrote that. That's right, John Avalon. Um, Geekbeat.tv forward slash doorbot. Now, so there are a lot of these types of things coming out lately. This is a like a Indiegogo project, I believe, um, and. It's a doorbell slash camera slash Wi-Fi device that you put on the outside of your door. When somebody comes up, they ring the bell, it sees their face, and you can see that from your app, whether you're inside the house or at work or across the you know, world. How do you power it? It uses AA batteries, I believe, and they say it'll last for a year. Really? I don't really understand how, but yeah. I think they said AA batteries. Let me just double check that. Oh, okay, but it's Indiegogo, so it's not built yet. Correct. They're looking for 250 k to make it a reality. It's just interesting that there's a whole lot of, uh, there are a whole lot of products coming out in the door handle, door security realm of technology. Yes, that is true. For, wait, 40 AA batteries? No. Huh? Four no, double A batteries. Four double A batteries. Somebody wrote up there 40. I'm like, what? <laughs> you want to see the video? Yeah, do, is there a video? Okay, yeah. Show us the video. See, it looks nice. And that's the product ambassador. His name is August. Are, are they getting audios? And it's easier to install so. than most doorbells. Okay, so you attach it With to just four screws, there, your doorbot you can literally be mounted and connected it. in minutes. There we go. To power doorbot. Four AA batteries. batteries. Lasts for a year, supposedly. One year of regular use. And it has speakers so that you can talk to the person outside. No way. Yeah. No way. And I think, yes, and you can even unlock your door. So if you're no in the house, busy, uh, you've got, you know, your hands full of, you know, kids' diapers or whatever, feathers coming out of your kid's cheek, you know, crazy stuff like that, you can uh, unlock it through the app. It's so pretty cool. Hi, the door's open. You guys can come on back. Huh. I might have to get one of those. With video in a way that fits with oh, yeah, it works with the Lockatron. That's right. What's a Lockatron? The Lockatron is like a, is, it, is one of these things where you, it's a door knob, right? 
your lock can also oh, don't you have to replace your oh, lock with the that's how you that's how the fun thing would would work with the lockatron that's yeah, how you yeah. that's how you'd open your door was with, with the lockatron okay I just wanted to let you know. Yeah. Space Bats wants to know, does it have a laser for unwanted visitors? That is a good question. That's, that's what I need. It should. So, um, you have anything else? Uh, you guys in the chat room? You want to ask us anything or talk about anything in particular? Yeah, what We're, do you guys want to you know, hear about? about out of time. Oh, I forgot to say. Uh, later today, I'm picking winners for the transporter giveaway. Oh, that's right. We're each giving away a pair of transporters. So, it, I, Good just, God. I just remembered. So, uh, Payday and GK over there is like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys. It, so, if you it, have. They're on Google Plus. You got to go to Cali. Google.com forward slash plus Cali Lewis. You know, you can. Um, and Google.com forward slash plus John P. You can't just say slash. No. And. You're still old fashioned, John. I'm saying the right way. Slash is different. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that we've got our giveaway. Wow, think, it's a little I ways back. I think that you I post needed, a lot of stuff on mine. I think that you needed to say back in the olden days, forward slash, because there are two slashes on this keyboard. That's right. But no one in their right mind today would think that they could do a backslash in a URL. In their right mind. <laughs> and, anyway, and you think that saying forward slash would actually help? It was on December 12th, folks. <laughs> so if you didn't do it yet, go to go back in our things to December 12th and get yourself in time. Ah, Apple 99 man. Talk about CES. All right, so good, good topic. Uh, CES is coming up. We will be having a show next week. Um, and then we're off the next... Oh, wait, okay. Actually, we have a couple shows before CES. But once we head off to CES, the team is going, and we, um, we're, we're taking a little bit of a smaller crew this year. Uh, we put out a ton last year and killed ourselves. <laughs> so We still have some things up in the air for CES, but yeah. here are the things that we know for certain. Number one is we will be covering CES. We oh, will be course. taking a crew to CES, yes. as we always do, and there will be a lot of CES coverage. <laughs> There'll be a lot of CES coverage coming uh, from us, so keep mm-hmm. an eye out. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be roaming the floors as want as we want to do, right. as we are want to do. And before we roam the floors, we will be doing some press events where we get to some sneak peeks of stuff that won't be announced. Can um, you believe they let us into things that they I don't let anybody else into? I can't believe it. So we'll talk about, we'll, <laughs> since you can't go into them, we'll just video it and show you what we saw. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll do all that from all the press events. We're going to be walking the floors, looking for the coolest stuff we can find, and we'll bring you those. Also, Cali, this year is once again going to be playing the host for Panasonic at their booth. Right. So for two days, she will be handling live streams from the Panasonic booth. So if you guys want to watch while I'm out running around, yeah, doing interview. Well, maybe there's. Yeah, you There's may some be things doing up some in the air, too, so. but most likely she'll be doing that, and I'll be out roaming the booths and getting the things. But of course, you have to wait for that coverage. Right, you that could be watching be her while the guys are editing that stuff, and it'll be coming out. So that'll be going on. Yeah, we're supposed to have some pretty cool people and um, interviews and topics of conversation about technology and releases and innovations and all of that good stuff. Um, and. Uh, last year, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Don't quote me on it, even though it's on video record. But um, last year, we actually had it at Panasonic.com slash CES. I'm assuming that that's going to be the same thing yeah. again this year, but I don't know for sure. So Apple 99 Man wants to know, do you remember the $30,000 iPhone speaker, the giant one? Actually, that, was no. from, that wasn't from CES. That was from IFA in Germany. I don't Wasn't remember it? that That one. was from IFA in Germany, I believe. Oh, you have to pick up girls at CES. Oh, I do. Oh. You're right, Digital Phil. I have to, to pick to up girls. To add to the album. I do. And you know what? I have a couple other pictures of girls I uh, picked up that haven't been uploaded to the album. Sorry, guys. I know I'm letting you down. Oh, really? Terrible. Terrible. Bad me. Bad John. Yeah, bad John. Yeah. JJ Butler, um, thank you. welcome back. He hasn't been here in a while. Yeah. Um, we're just doing a casual show today, so the format is a little different. You're right. 
Uh, sometimes we do more formal ones. Sometimes we do more casual ones. Depends on the day and what's going on. We just got back from three weeks of travel, so we thought we'd take it a little easy today and just have some fun. When the show is in production for a season um, on for distribution on TV, that's when we have to be very structured and we have right. to stick to like 15 commercial minute segments and, and take our commercial breaks. But when we don't have that, we we don't like to put ourselves and you guys through the stress of all that. We just we like to hang out with you and kind of have yeah. fun and chat and things like that. Okay, so back on CES, um, I it, we're gonna have a, a meetup one day. Yeah, I don't know GK, how, or when, or where. I meant to tell you, we need to book a meetup. We need to have a meetup. Okay, um, GK will take care of that, <laughs> but we need to figure that out. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, but we so, also might be going to Blog World New, New Media, Media Expo. Expo. Bef- immediately preceding CES. Right. We're trying to make that happen. So if you guys are planning on being there, we're going to try and be there as well. And you should be there whether we're there or oh, not. Yeah. If like, you who like wants to see us anyway. If you're into blogging and stuff, you should be at New Media Expo because yeah, it's, great, you know, panels and um, conversations. You get to meet a lot of people. And it is the single definitive place on earth to go for right. bloggers and People in the new media space. So, hence the title. Yeah. So we're <laughs> going to try and be there. We there are a lot of logistics that have to happen in order to make that work. We'll let you know. We'll keep you updated. What were you going to say? Oh, okay. So um, there are a couple of things that you know we expect to see this year at CES, but we wanted to get your opinion on what you'd like to see coverage of. But a couple of things that we expect to see, Ultra HD stuff, which was last year's 4K. They just changed the name. Um, and then also um, some medical tech. I posted about that earlier in the geek communities. Um, and that, uh, Gary Shapiro says that there should be a lot of medical tech, you know, new innovations there. Well, he said 25% per percent increase in medical tech, which last, last year, year was about 10% of the show. You were listening to me. To him, at least. <laughs> I pretend that I'm not, but you know. <laughs> um, and then, of course, more ultra book type stuff. I'm getting a little. I think there's going to be a lot of automotive represented there. You we know, are that's seeing a, that's so big. much new technology days, in the yeah. car space. More robots? I hope. You know what? Last year's robots were a little lacking. You missed the I one little even... robot last year that was so fun that rode the bicycle. Yeah. What was his name? There was one robot that they kept saying, Callie needs to go see, Callie needs to go see, and we couldn't find it again. But um, the I didn't even do any segments about robots because I had already kind of... They, like, they were kind of old news. So well, hopefully we'll see some really cool stuff. And you were so busy because you were doing busy, Panasonic. Yeah. And I was doing Qualcomm and all that other stuff. Yeah. So we we uh, we were we didn't have as much time to explore. Yeah. You know? And yes, we'll oh. see a lot of touchscreen and Windows 8 stuff. That's for sure. Digital Phil wants to know when we get reviews of tablets under $100. <laughs> Digital Phil, I have been looking for one. I went to Walmart Looking for these sub one hundred dollar Android tablets, did not find yeah, one not at Walmart. Easy to find. The only place that I've found them are in like order from China online websites, right. and I'm waiting for something. Show me a place like a Walmart, Best Buy, any retail store that I can go to here in Dallas. If you could find one in Dallas that says they've got a under ninety nine dollar Android tablet, I will go get it and I will do the review for you, and right. I will compare it to the bigger, more powerful ones, but I just can't find them. Kindle Fire doesn't count. Kindles don't <laughs> count because I hate Kindles. It has to be, it can't be something that's tablet. proprietary locked down. It has to be something that runs an open Android you know, yeah. platform. So, Yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of what we're expecting to see. Um, I'm not convinced that there's going to be, like, any surprises, really, in terms of, but we never types, know. That's but the thing. You never know. You, like a couple of years ago, we were not expecting all the. What was it a couple of years ago that came out? It was like Android. I think. Well, I think Android hit a couple of years ago, and then it was like, whoa! We we didn't expect this much of it, at least. Yeah, every year that we go there, we're surprised by something. That's that's why they they hold everything, you know. Did Bruce you know, says, check my email. He has an idea for the community logo. Cool. I'll oh, check it. Cool. I will check it. Yeah. Uh, Digital Phil asks if we'll ever do a, a weekly app, an app of the week. Well, over on Mobile Life, uh, we do lots and lots of apps over there. So um, I don't know. 
if you guys really want an app of the week on the show, we can think about incorporating that for sure. Yeah, I John think we could. plays lots of games. We could have a game of the week. That's for sure. <laughs> we could. I like. I like my games. Wait till. Oh I'll... man, you guys wait for his episode that's coming out during the holidays. When is that coming out, GK? Do you know? Uh, yeah. Uh huh. The, no, that, the Android. The, the Android, Android specifically. Is that Android um, apps. The, like the 24th or 26th or something? Elmo says I can do a Babe of the Week. How about if I do a Geek Babe of the Week? I don't think that really fits. Geek Hot Chick of the Week? Huh? Day after Christmas. Day after Christmas. Day a- watch. You're going you guys- you're, you're to want to watch this episode. Mark my words. Watch for the day after Christmas. Watch for my Android app special. <laughs> All right, so I think we should probably wrap it up. Radio Dan wants to know, when does power hour start? (laughs) My shot glass is in the other room. It starts right after we get off the air. She wouldn't let me start during while we were on air. If she had let me start when we started this show, by now I would have been through the whole power hour. It would have been awesome. Right. With coffee, yeah. <laughs> so we had like four, I had four or five shows, or oh, something crazy, to shoot this morning. And uh, they were kind of long shows, and I was just a little tipsy, if you will, but without any alcohol. Just lots of caffeine and no sleep. Okay, a couple last questions before we go. Mr. Bill Wolf <laughs> wants to know, what's the least expensive tablet I could get for my mom to play Angry Birds? Mr. Bill, Wor- Wo- Bill <laughs> Wolf, it's not a tablet. What you should do is get her a Roku, Mm -hmm. connect it to her TV. The Roku has a little joysticky thing, and not only can she play Angry Birds on the Roku on her TV, it's under 99 bucks, by the way, it's like $79, $89. She can play it on her TV, plus she can have all those other things that the Roku does. That's the best way to do it. Now, the last question for you. Okay. Callie, what is your opinion? I have the hiccups. What is, what is your opinion of the Surface tablets? Oh, well... Um, Microsoft Surface tablets? Right. What's your opinion? Well, they're only running RT, right? So um, until the Pro comes out, I'm more of a fan of the, like the Samsung Ativ, which is a tablet laptop. Like you dock it and it becomes a laptop and then you take it out as a tablet because it's running like the full version of Windows 8. So... If you go with the Surface, it's running RT, which is, um, you can only run apps on that from the store. You can't download your own apps and, and You can't run win- full Windows full apps. Full Windows apps, yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, the Surface is great and everything, but I'm looking forward to the Pro version that'll come out probably in January. Yeah, did they say January or did they say March? Oh, Anyway, we're a few, we're like a little ways off from the Pro yeah. version. I think when the Pro version comes out, It'll be fantastic. The problem yeah, exactly. is, yeah, exactly. It'll. I mean, I like the t- the hardware itself. Yeah. The problem is the 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 OS is limited. I don't understand why because well, um, they want, you've got I mean, no. you've got all these other competitors like Ative and right. you know all these other manufacturers. They already have them out. So why, when Microsoft released their own branded one, why didn't it have the full version? I don't understand. I never really heard anything about that. Did you guys? So mm. Mm, I don't know. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, it's not Aptiv, it's A-T-I-V. A-T- Sam- A-T-I-V. Samsung A-T-I-V. Mm-hmm. You can get them. What? Here's, here's the scoop. You can get it at Staples for $649. Yeah. But the one that Staples has has the 1.5 gigahertz processor. Okay. You can get it at Best Buy, but it's, it's more expensive. It's $699. It's 50 bucks more. But that one has a 1.8 gigahertz processor. Even online, Staples doesn't have the 1.8? No. Okay. I guess this is how they're doing some brand differentiation. So they're slightly different. So the one at Best Buy costs a little more. Now, we had the Staples version, which is cheaper anyway. And honestly, I did not notice any performance problems. Like the fact that it had 1.5 versus 1.8, I don't know. Don't go yet, guys. Hold on. If you really want to uh, spend an extra 50 bucks and get the faster processor, cool, you can do that. But the one that we had was the $649 one with the $129 keyboard. Um, and you can buy them together as a package for $749 and save yourself about 30 bucks. Yeah. And the 1.5 uh, uh, processor was fine. And in fact, no kidding, 
I liked it so much, I'm thinking about getting one of those and replacing my MacBook Air with it. I'm, I'm this close to making that happen. The only, the only issue there would be uh, editing video, right? Yeah, but I, I hardly ever edit video. Right. And uh, uh, photos, I can get Photoshop on Windows just like on the Mac. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm really having a hard time not, uh, not deciding to make that switch. Yeah. So, and it would be interesting because you'll probably keep your Mac. So if I had a Windows and you had a Mac, I don't know, that might be cool. Might be. Maybe people wouldn't rag us so much like we're such Apple fanboys that we, we don't use, we don't, we're not balanced in our approach. But then we'll get in trouble with the Linux the, community, then, yeah. then you guys will skewer us. There's, there's no winning, John. There's no winning. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we have also another show on next week coming out that, I think it's next week, yes. Next Wednesday, John and I are going to be doing a show together. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But you'll definitely want to watch that. It's not a live show. It's a Geek Beat show. Are you going to um, tell me what it is? <laughs> you already know, but you're just not, you don't know that I have it scheduled. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> but it involves you guys. It involves you, so pay attention. Uh, now you insert know what I'm funny. About. No, I don't. Insert funny. I see the Rite Aid and CVS Craig's Electronics Android tablet. I will stop by the CVS oh. on my way home. If they have one, I'll buy it and I'll do a full review for you guys. Cool. All righty. Thank you guys for joining us Friday. Next week, we will... Wait. Yes? We will be here. We will be here. The week after, week of Christmas, we will not. But we will... Um, we might do and, one. We, we might do we'll, one from the house. We'll try and do some hangouts, some a little bit more casual, yeah. and uh, maybe from the house and eating, stuffing our face, that kind of thing. Yeah, Eric, <laughs> sorry, no unboxings today. Oh, we did uh, have one. Did we? <gasps> oh. We have a fewer letter as well. Oh, we do. Okay, well, we'll do those. Bara Amir. I like this show. Well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you. We hope you come yeah. around more often. Exactly. Get that box. Uh, what is that? Is that that's an unboxing? It's a, it's a way too big box for the package. Oh, okay, cool. That's well, I guess we have an unboxing. <laughs> then strike that. We're not ready to go quite right. yet. Sorry, guys. We have one unboxing. We keep oh, teasing you. we also forgot. We didn't oh, get yeah. to the Edge Sound yet. This is the Edge Sound we talked about earlier. Uh, for the Kickstarter project, they didn't make it, but they made it anyway. They built it anyway. Um, it is super, super light. This thing is amazing. It's like weighs nothing. It feels like it's made of air. Exactly, but it sounds great. You yeah. Know? Um, it has these three buttons on top, and the light. This is your indicator light. It flashes, so it's kind of Star Trekky almost. Like I don't know. It looks like it's me. Um, on the back, it's got the power. It's got USB. Yeah. My, uh, for micro charging. USB. And what is this? Is this for daisy chaining? There's a little uh, 3.5 millimeter no, jack it's not. or whatever. No, is it a headphone jack or something? Input. Oh, that's input. the input jack. Duh. So it can either do Bluetooth or have a wired input. And uh, it's got a nice aluminum yeah. kind of uh, front. Just really, probably the best looking of these type speakers that we've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be comparing it to the Braven that we love so much. You know what else? There's one thing that this has that I keep wondering about. On the back here, there's these little divots. You know what that looks like to me? It looks like those could be used for some sort of stand, like little things that would that insert oh. there to hold it. And maybe they I, have I haven't seen some. Plans. Maybe there's like an accessory or something for that. Yeah. We do have a letter. Yes, I think I know. It's who from, this is from the Netherlands. We haven't opened it. We have, you I mean, we, it? we just slid it? it, but I, we have not actually read it or opened it. So we have a card. What does it say? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's a pretty card. That is a pretty card. It's cute. It's from Nick. I Curiosity it was 63. You, Nick. From I, the Netherlands. I know his, his uh, to handwriting. To Dallas, America. Happy holiday, Livid Lobsters. Aww. Thank you very much, Thank Nick. Thank you, Nick. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And we really appreciate appreciate you always being there for us and always keeping up with us. Thanks. Okay, what is in this box? I didn't even see this come in. Yeah, G GK was hiding it from us. GK he was said, hiding quote, it? quote, so that you wouldn't unbox it early. Really? Is because... It it's not, which no, one it's of not us... That's, it's not it's like... Not it's not like a, a surprise. Oh, it's just that we've it's been, just we've because been he didn't cheating. want us to unbox it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got to have some, okay. GK is looking out for you guys. Oh, sorry. For, you know, Sorry. Me. Here we go. It's the 
Magic feet. Oh, for Moby. Moby. Magic feet. A universal charging station for all your Apple input devices. We've shown you guys some Moby products before, like the、uh, the Magic Track Pad and the Magic、uh, Wire、uh, the, Bar. Yeah,、uh, I forget what that's called. The thing called. that、um, charges your keyboard. Yeah, and then this. This is awesome. Is、uh, the Magic Feet so you can. It charge all your devices. I think it kind of combines it all. It's like a station for all your devices. That's awesome. You know, I just had、up. to change the key. The I just had to change the batteries on my stupid trackpad earlier today. I wouldn't have had to do that if I had one of these. Bruce asks, "Why no robots? Did you not see earlier when I was talking about the robot iPad?" Ooh, what a beautiful case! You see that? You you swing this thing open. Nice. And it's got a thing that says charging zones, number one and number two. So it's got two charging zones up、Ooh. here, and it tells you the meaning of the lights. What is that? That's like a plastic. That's, that's like a foamy plastic. You know, they do. They they make really、um, nice. Look at this.、There's、beautifully a, built. It's showing you where to put your keyboard and your. Wow, you smell that. It smells new. Wow, I've never opened a product that actually smells new like this. <laughs> That's funny. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. Oh, here's the battery. I think this is the one that you stick. You stick this in your keyboard or whatever.、Uh-huh, yeah, you slip that in your in your Apple keyboard. Yeah, in your Apple and keyboard. Ba- and that's the battery essentially. And this is a battery for. Oh, this. What is, is it? The that's the battery for, for the mouse. Your mouse. So those are rechargeable、nice、batteries.、Looking. And then we got a plug here, and it's got European and U.S.、Uh, adaptery things, and we got a USB、uh, port. Cool. So, well, Scott Ellis usually、um, does our Moby review products because he uses all of these things. He uses like the、um, all of the device. But you just said you do too. No, I said I want one、oh. because <laughs> I've been changing batteries in my stuff all the I time. I see. I see. Cool. Okay.、So、you, just, you just put it on here. You just lay your mouse up here, and it charges.、Yep. And you plug your, you set your keyboard right in here, and, and it, it charges. charges. And you know, you set your, so everything you put around this this deal just charge.、Cool. And it looks like this. Magic feet. This you just plug. Oh, this has USB. Oh my gosh, it has one, two,、oh、three, four USB、uh, ports on it. So it's a it's a four、Jeez. port、uh, replicator as well, and then. It has one input port right in here. Can you see that, Ken? I don't know if you can get all up in there. A little, <laughs> there's a little micro right there. That's it. There's a micro port there, and then you got the USBs here, here. They're all over. So it's like a USB hub and battery chargers. Eric Stratford wants one. Everything else. How much are they? You guys look it up. Tell me how yeah, much it costs. Yeah, let us know. Uh, what do they call it? It's called the Magic Feet, Moby Magic Moby. Feet. M O B E E W E. I don't have a charging port on this. <laughs> no, where is your charging <laughs>、oh. port? <laughs> cool. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we'll wait to、so, put that away. Well, we don't have to put it away. Somebody's going to use it. We can go use it. Somebody's going to use it. I bet you'll use it. I probably will. You've got all the go- you guys. She has all. My desk right now looks insanely geeky.、Um, she has everything, <laughs> all the everything. I have a Rain 360、um, rotator base for my cinema display. So you basically stick the cinema display in it, and it turns it into a rotating monitor. And then on top of that, I have the. Uh, what's it called?、Uh, the Levy Sync. Yep.、Um, and that. Which holds the iPad. Sticking. What are you telling me? Forty dollars. Oh, it, this is forty dollars. This is only no. This, this is has not forty dollars. This has got to be more than. Oh, it's one forty. Insert、oh. funny says one forty nine ninety on Moby's website. Okay, that makes more. Zig says one、oh, fifty. Yeah, it's it's one hundred and fifty for the whole set. It's one fifty. Um. What was I saying? You、oh yeah, and then about... I have the Levy Sync attached.、Um, have we released that review yet? Which one? The Levy Sync. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys saw that review come through. And that's attached to my monitor for my iPad to charge and sit there. And then I have a couple of other things. Yeah, it's a little too geeky. Now I'm gonna have this. See, see that? Did you hear that? <laughs> Now I'm gonna <laughs> have this.、Right、see, I told you. <laughs> I, I told you.、Right、I told you. I told you. I was thinking you might not notice. Lisa wants to share a desk pic. Okay, I'll do it. I'll take a picture and I'll show her. I'll show what her ridiculous desk looks like. 
So. All right. Well, I have some work to do, and I have to go pick those transporter uh, winners. Tomorrow. So go do that before I leave. Tomorrow is the Livid Lobster holiday party. Yep, we're going to have some fun. So I'm going to go prep for all these Livid Lobsters. We're going to have like 20 people in the house. And i got to go make uh, homemade marshmallows. Are you going to? the party. Wow. Absolutely. Thanks, Mr. Jiggs. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. We will see you guys next week. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you all then. over the next week. Bye. Bye. Alrighty. But wait, are you using?